two for a pound. Two for a pound. I like this drink, it's nice, aloe vera. Get the pulp in there as well, these are really good for you. It's nice this drink. Get two of these for a pound and pound, man, it's lovely. This is the best one, I like this one the best, it's really nice. It's really nice. Good. It is nice. I'm not wasting time on doing this hit here because I can see it's washed out. I should just concentrate on the these things like when I get home and show them to you. But um, I got another one of those. They're one pound ten pet, one pound twelve pence in Waitrose at the moment, and that's a large one. And I've not tried this one before, so um, hang on a moment. This is ridiculous. Um, oh, I got these from Poundland Fairy Cakes, Victoria Fairy Cakes from Poundland. And these chocolate and vanilla, um, chocolate and vanilla cupcakes, the cake crew. So they look nice. I like the white look at the ones. All right, I'm trying to hold this under the light. I'm trying to hold it under the light. So hopefully you'll see it. This is a, I've not tried this one before. Um, coconut, uh, coconut drink organic. Oh, um, rude health. It doesn't special offer in Waitrose. I like these coconut drinks. And yeah, oh, enough. These look nice. Oh, well, these are nice, these white ones. I'm not keen on chocolate cake, but these ones are lovely. Oh, oh. Now, the Poundland, a mainly Poundland haul. So let's get straight into it. Nice. Hang on, there'll just be a load of rustling. Nice table cover from by fr uh, Frozen table cup cover with Elsa. Elsa on it. And Schumanna's there somewhere. Uh, I got an Urban Girl dolly. I'll show these in the daytime, I think, because I've got two, because they do look, they're the same outfit, but they look slightly different, although they can be twins. Yeah. I'll show these in the day, daylight, if I can, because I'm... Oh. I've, I've been seeing these around in Poundland for a while, and I don't wear... I wear... I've got earrings that I keep in all the time, so I don't put, put have those push-through ones. I've got gold hoop earrings, like about four in one ear and three in the other, and I've, I just leave those in all the time. I, I just keep them in, and so I don't need um, something like that. But I couldn't resist that, because I thought that is so cute. It is pretty. I like it. Yeah, that's nice. And it stand, you could stand it or hang him. A unicorn. A unicorn. He's nice. It's very cute. Tinsel. Frozen. I don't know why it's pink because I thought frozen theme was blue and white, but it still sits nice. And there's a Christmas tree as well, which stands up as you can see. Can you see him? There. See the Christmas tree? Oh, I don't even know if it's showing up. Oh dear, I try, I try. Headphones, but I uh, don't feel them a lot, but they're out, so I don't. I've got a perfume, urban. I don't even know what it smells like, but it was only a pound in pound land, so I thought if it's horrible, I use it as air freshener. 
I got a Rimmel nail polish in Azure. It's one of the electric blue shade. I'm not going to do swatches because I still. This one's called Midnight. It's one of the Collection 2000 hot looks before they changed their name to just Collection. And I was talking about this in my last haul, but I got another Ridley Road, Barry M Ridley Road, because I love that colour. And uh, these nice little stickers, mini glitter embellishments, oh, that's a pretty colour, those greens, it's nice. And then uh, this one's called, uh, it's a colour show one, and it's called Faux Green. The French word faux meaning false. I don't know why it's called false green, but that looks the sort of green that I like. So, and um, yeah, that's it for now. And I can, I'll just show them. I'll try and show the things better in the daylight if I'm able. I think it's going to be a rainy day tomorrow, but I try my best. And I've got this Doctor Who story as well, so I'm looking forward to that. I think this is going to be a good one. I didn't think much of the Witch Hunters. It was a little bit. I don't know. It got tedious and boring, but I think I'm going to like this one. This one looks like it's quite good. It's got Unit and the Brigadier. I like those sort of stories. Yeah, it looks quite good. This is actually very good, this story. I'm enjoying this, the, um, the Doctor Who story. I've listened to the first disc so far. The Doctor hasn't featured in it yet. But it's really good. You've got some brilliant sound effects with it as well. And music. It, yeah, it's very, very atmospheric. But these military vehicles trundling through the streets in the middle of the night in a sleepy little village and people are wondering what's going on. It's really, really good so far. It's probably some kind of listen to the archers and um, want to do my whole video at the same time. Oh. Yeah, I think I've already shown this. This is absolutely brilliant. I love this story so far. I've listened to the first disc and it's very promising. Very good. I thought I might use these nice stickers to stick on top of my music box. These are coming off already, <laughs> look, from the tinsel. So that's that. And there's the Christmas tree. The frozen Christmas tree. So that's that. I'll open that and then I'll tell you what it's like. That's the Azure nail polish. They're all sealed up and that's the faux green or the false green. The Ridley Road and the Midnight. And there's the nice unicorn. Pretty, isn't it? So pretty. There's the tablecloth. Frozen. Urban girl doll dolls. this dolly. You see her? Yeah. I think, I'm sure there was something else, but I can't see anything. So, yeah. Hear that? Right, I've, um, yeah, it's only something very basic. It's it's okay. It's not. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's a. Uh, it's all right, but um, 
It's not something I'd go out of my way to wear, but uh, it's okay, I suppose, if you just want something quick, just to, you know, and it's not important. But I'd be sticking with um something I really like if I I was gonna, you know. But it's okay. It's not too bad, but uh, it's only it was pound in Poundland, so you know. Talking about this made me think about some of the old. I found out these I hadn't seen for a while. There be there's a nice bag that you've got. Uh, I got when I first bought that. Britney's um fantasy. I'm not that keen on this perfume actually. I like not fantasy. See, I get everything wrong. This one's called. What's it called? Curious, of course. It's called Curious. I'm not keen on it. It's it's okay, but it's one of those sharp sort of um. I think that's what I meant the other day when I was talking about the sort of perfumes I don't like are those sort of sharp. So I don't mean citrusy. I mean like I don't know how to describe it really. There's a certain kind of smell that I just don't like. I'll put that away in a minute. Um, there's a uh, Yves Saint Laurent cinema. So it might be a collector's item. I don't even know if you can still buy this. It's, uh, looks rather cheap looking, the container with the gold on the back. That looks, like it, that looks sort of cheap looking. But, um, yeah, let's just look through at some of the, the old ones that I found out. And more and more. This is one of those cheapies you could get from Boots. Cheap looking top. And uh, what's this one in a Tammy bag? I'm sure I didn't get it from Tammy. No, I wouldn't have got it from Tammy. I think we know what that is, don't we? John Paul Goldier Classic. This is, this is okay, it's quite nice. But I must admit, I prefer. Oops. I prefer my, my pink sugar. That's my favourite. That's my favourite pink sugar. I love that. Yeah. What have I got? I've got my Nicki Minaj one. I've got a Nicki Minaj somewhere. The original Nicki Minaj. Oh well, whatever. It's not a perfume video. That was just a quick look at them. This is still going to be a haul video. I was just showing. I, I might do a perfume video at some time of my fragrances. I might do a fragrance video sometime if anyone's interested, which they probably aren't. But so, yeah. Hey, what I've got. Where are we now? I'm pleased with this. I've got the um, Doctor Who, the, the Sixth Doctor. This is the one where he regenerates because I've got all the DVDs, and um, you know he he got a raw deal, Colin Baker. Um, we never saw him. He never got proper uh, support from like the production team and and that. Uh, and um, to be honest, I. I didn't like Trial of a Time Lord. I didn't like the way Perry was just written out like she was, and um, I didn't like the way it was handled. And apparently, they they weren't going to do that. That was decided on the last minute. They were doing other stories, and I've heard a lot of those on the Big Finish audios, and they're far preferable. They should have gone with that. And anyhow, this is giving him the proper regeneration scene where he turns into Sylvester McCoy. Obviously, we don't see it, but it's on audio and. Um, Oh, oh! It smells lovely. New, new book. It's got it's a nice book as well. Look, you get all this. Doctor Who fans, you should love this. This um, ah, uh, I was still seeing it the first time of me, and it's got four four discs and a f fifth one. It's got India Fisher's Charlie Pollard. She was the eighth Doctor's companion in the audio stories, and I loved I've, I've, most most of their stories I've listened to. I thought she was the best companion for the eighth doctor paul mcgann's doctor and i wish they oh i'd wish they would do a spin-off series of um charlie pollard and the eighth doctor because paul mcgann could still play the doctor now couldn't he? he was in the um night of the doctor so so yeah i'm looking forward to that but i'm i'm still 
I don't know whether to start listening to this now or to continue with the last of the gathering because I'm enjoying that the um the John Pertwee Doctor one. Anyhow, I've got some swatches of the nail polishes I'm going to do. So hang on a minute. It's been cold all day, but it's it's got warmer again now. So um, need that on. Now, what have I done with the nail polishes? I had them in. But how here they are. Here they are. Oh, for goodness sake, everything ends up on the flaming floor. Need something to wipe it off with. Oh, now that's, what's gone down now? Actually, you touch something, touch one thing and then it starts an avalanche of things falling. Oh dear, oh dear. Anyhow, without further ado, let's get into these swatches. This one is the Azure by Rimmel. I should have just done the swatches on a piece of card or something, really, shouldn't I, rather than... This is a nice, pretty electric blue. Hope that's going to show up. That's a pretty colour. It's not too dark. This is the Midnight one, which I'm guessing is a... Oh, no, it's a dark... Very, very dark blue. I thought it was going to be a black. It's a very, very dark blue. That looks... Yeah, that is quite nice. This is the faux green. F-A-U-X. That means faux. That's faux, isn't it? Pronounced faux. I think that's how you pronounce it. It means... I don't know why it means false green. And it looks like it's going to be a one-coater. That's good. Maybelline Colour Show. Uh there. So yeah, that's um, looks like it's going to be a one coat one, so that's good. And this lovely Ridley Road. It's a textured effect one, I know, and I'm not that exactly keen on the textured effects, but hey, it's a, it's a nice nail polish and it covers in one coat. You see that? That covers in one coat. I hope it's showing up. I can't, can't tell. I honestly can't tell because the, the screen's just whited out. It's just a blank. I've talked about these torches before. Well, this is the pig one. I've got a vampire bat one and I've got a penguin. Well, this is the, the, the pig one. And there are also cow ones you could get, these wind-up torches. I've mentioned them in one of my hauls uh, far previous to this one. So, anyhow, that's, um, yeah... I should try to keep this, keep this haul short. I know I say the same thing every time, but it's like a, a Doctor Who themed, and it's a Poundland haul with all these nail polishes. Poundland. And um, I should have done a swatch on a piece of paper, really, shouldn't I? Or cut them in a card, like I often do. But still, I think they've shown up quite enough. And, you know, that's good. I think that's really, really good value for a pound. And if I get anything from Sainsbury's or elsewhere tomorrow or being well, then I shall have to include that then. Well, I've done some swatches anyway on the card. There's Midnight on the end here. That one's called Midnight. That dark blue. Then there's the one called Azure. Then it's the faux green and then that lovely Ridley Road. So that's four very nice nail polishes. And something else, I, I just listened back... I listened back to where I was talking about this and I was trying to say, oh yeah, so I've heard them all, I've listened to, and I was talking about the audios and I was talking, but I was, when I said I've heard them all and I didn't like Trial of a Time Lord, I didn't mean they were the audios, I meant I've got, I've got all the DVDs featuring the sixth Doctor of the series, that's what I, I'm trying to say, I've seen it all on DVD and I didn't much like Trial of a Time Lord, I think he got a raw deal there, I, I preferred the big finish audio stories I saw which were, was what the, his second series was going to be but then they decided to rewrite it and did Trial of a Time Lord instead that's what I was trying to say and um, the stories they did do I think would have been far better than Trial of a Time Lord and um, maybe Perry wouldn't have left either So because I liked the Sixth Doctor and Perry together I loved the story The Revelation of the Daleks and Vengeance on Varos. I thought that was a good one. And um, yes, and they're good together in the audios as well. So that I never explain things clear. And I listen back and I think, oh, it sounds like I'm talking about I 
talking about one thing when I was actually talking about something else but then I didn't finish that and I go on to talking about something else because that's how my train of thought goes and I'm thinking people are only hearing part of what I said they're not hearing the whole thing and then they, and it must be confusing so I just wanted to make that plain I saw the trial of a time lord I watched it on DVD I've got the series the trial of a time lord on DVD and his first series there's a lot of noise outside tonight so sorry if I, I'm, I'm it's late at night and yet there's lots of people everywhere anyway um so but I the alternative series what it was going to be I've heard most of them on audio big finish audio so I was trying to say and um they're very good um yeah it's got the Doctor Who thick proper theme and everything but of course you don't see that I wish they'd make um, anime versions of them and um they ought to do an anime version of his last story Colin Baker but of course he's still making the big finish audios anyhow that's for Doctor Who fans <laughs> you'll know what I mean some of this from Sainsbury's it's on special offer at the moment and I don't suppose you're going to focus on this right one of these chocolate uh, and love of uh, cocoa uh, coffee yeah organic coffee chocolate I've got a, oh, I've got a Glade uh, scented candle which is on special offer this one is is that the barley sandalwood and jasmine yes it yes it is and um, uh, they don't do the rose garden tea anymore, but I think this is the same China rose. It's China black tea with rose petals. And I've got some more of these because these are really nice. Folded flatbreads, multi-seed by Sainsbury's. Uh, try and get organised. Oh, it looks so washed out. Let me try the light. Oh dear, let me strip it. I thought that makes any difference, or does it just wash me out? I don't know. Anywho, anywho, anywho. <laughs> I got another one of those, obviously. I'm sure you really want to see that. Got this in Poundland. Oh, Pinkie Pie! Pinkie Pie! My Little Pony, genuine My Little Pony. Pinkie Pie. So cute! Russell, 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 Russell. I'm sorry about the incessant rustling. Purple Ivy, Poundland. Pretty. Pretty. Very pretty. And this one as well. Pretty. Quite pretty. Tatty Teddy cards. 3D from Sainsbury's. I can't resist Tatty Teddy. Tatty Teddy. Oh, so pretty. Yeah, 3D. Oh, can I just hold it in front long enough for you to see the 3D effect? It's probably going to wash it out. Oh, it's pretty. I don't want to bother. This webcam is so useless. And uh, from Poundland, Beanie Balls, I've got a really small one, which I got once before, but um, one of those bags. I've got this, Five Organza Craft Storage Bags, they're pretty, pretty. Sorry about the chipped nail polish, I've never known such a bad nail polish as this. It looks nice, but the chippage is, oh, that's a separate video there. Um, this, I know it's a Halloween one, but I've got them in orange and bright green and black, but I haven't got a bright red one. So I know it looks washed out on here probably, but believe me, that is a lovely bright. This one, a big one, Beanie Balls. The one I saw in Pound down the other day, his top was missing, his flower was missing, so I didn't bother to buy him, but I see, I noticed somebody's bought him. 
you know, let me take him out of the bag. Yeah, I think someone had probably pulled him out of the bag by his flower, and so his flower was missing. But I was going to buy him anyway. I thought perhaps they let me have him for a bit cheaper, but someone else had probably obviously bought him because he was gone today. I don't know why. I like the colour, really, because I think it's a funny-looking thing. But, oh, he's lovely. Yeah, he's he's cute. Because I've, I've got two small ones, haven't I? Or have I got one small one? I can't quite remember. But, yeah, he's lovely. <laughs> he came out completely washed out, so I'm hoping you'll see him a little bit better colour if I hold him up under the light. He's a lovely bright pink. I shall try and do the others tomorrow with the camera in the daylight when because I've taken those things upstairs now. Or I do them with the webcam again perhaps I will see. But yeah there he is, little beanie balls, pound band. Okay, let's get this sorted out, turned down slightly. I'm on the ground they sorry about that, but yeah, anyhow. Um Hey, hey. Can we see him better in the daylight? Mm. I don't know, because this is making everything look blue to compensate, because this is what it does, you see. This webcam is... I know it's better than nothing at all. It's built into the computer, but it's rubbish when it comes to... Yeah. Giving you proper colours. Thank you, She was from Pound Band, if you want to say. I thought it was a little bit Pound Band. Can you see that? Is that showing up? I hope so. That's very pretty. Um, I've got some more in here. See that? You see it? I just thought it's not, you know, to do justice to things, you need to show them properly. And I don't suppose you could see that in that blurry apology for a video that I did last night. Here's um, five organza craft storage bags from Poundland. They're always useful things. I'll take them out so. A lot of rustling. How do you get into the things? Where's the... Oh, I thought it was a sticker. Oh, this is wasting time, isn't it? Oh, forget it. No. Sorry. I've just about... Everything. Trying to get... Trying to get into things is, like, impossible. There's a... Can we see Tatty Teddy? The 3D side. That's the plain side. pretty. I suppose that would be suitable for Valentine's card, wouldn't it? Is that pretty? That's the 3D side. I don't know if that web webcam will be picking it up, but it is. And uh, I think the envelope's a Tatty Teddy envelope as well. That's so cute. And uh, There's the Halloween scarf I was telling you about. <coughs> is hoping, yeah, I think you can see now that is bright red. But it came out as a kind of, well, I don't know what colour it came out as last night. A kind of washed out peachy shade or something, or, or pale pink. But yeah, it's bright red. It's, uh, it's nice. I haven't got bright pink. I don't know where they are now, but I've got uh, fluorescent orange. I've got, you know, the neon orange. I've got neon pink. Um... No, I haven't. So I tell you, I've got neon orange, neon greens, and black. But I haven't. I've not seen a red one before. So now I've got a red one. So I. <laughs> I thought you might like to see my little horsey. Do we match? I think he matches me. Isn't that so cute? It's from I. I it was Poundland or the ninety nine pence store. Can't remember which, but. Yeah, he's got tinsel in his mane and tail. 
So pretty. <laughs> you can get some nice little things from these little cheap shops. You don't have to pay a lot of money for things. That's sweet. 